In this video, I'm gonna try these super viral beef jerky brands. You can't say the words viral beef jerky. People are gonna think it's contaminated. Okay, let's try that again, take two. Today we're gonna to try popular beef jerky brands that I found on social media, right? All right. Beef jerky that you find in the grocery store or a gas station has been dominated for decades from a few big brands. Beef jerky really hasn't been updated at all. Well, I found a few other brands that are changing the game when it comes to beef jerky. I found all on social media, and today I'm gonna go and unbox them and taste them, and we're gonna get the true story about what's new in the beef jerky space. Let's get to opening some beef jerky. I love beef jerky, so this is like the best video we could have made today. So let's go hit it. I love beef jerky, it's no secret. I have a video on the channel where I made my own beef jerky. I'll link it up here. What is your favorite beef jerky? Put it in the comments, I wanna know. And have you tried any of these brands that I'm about to talk about? Let's see what's new and innovative in the beef jerky space. Let's go to the first one. We're gonna start with the one I found on YouTube. So this is from Max the Meat Guy. It's called Max Jerky. And unless you're living under a rock, if you love my channel, you're gonna let you love his channel. He has 5.7 million subscribers. He loves to cook meat and has some of the best hair out of any food YouTuber there is. Sorry, Guga. In 2023, they launched a jerky brand. Of course, Max wanted to showcase his need for unique flavors and ingredients. So I'm really excited to try his beef jerky. He did a whole documentary on his channel about how he went through and came through all the trials and tribulations of making your own food product. It's really cool if you haven't seen it, but this is the Max Jerky. So these are the three that they had on the website. You'll find that, especially with these small jerky brands, that they don't always have every flavor. They're hard to keep in stock. So these are the ones that I bought. We have New York Buffalo Chicken Jerky. We have Szechuan Chili Crisp Chicken Jerky, and then Texas Barbecue. So I'm really excited to try them. Let's open them up and try each one. I'll give you my honest opinion from each one. All right, we're gonna start out with Texas Barbecue. Out of all three flavors, I think this is gonna be the most straightforward. So let's try it. So the texture is like you would expect from a traditional jerky. It's a little sweeter than I thought it would be for Texas Barbecue, because you have Texas Barbecue, you got salt and black pepper. The flavor is really good. That black pepper comes through but it's a little sweeter than I thought. So I'm a little, a little surprised on that one, but you know, it's it's a very good beef jerky. Now let's try the Szechuan Chili Crisp Chicken Jerky. I don't think I've ever had chicken jerky before, so I'm, I'm intrigued. All right. Hmm. The texture on this is much softer. Much softer, easier to chew. The flavor is really good. Honestly, I expected a little bit spicier for the for a chili crisp, but it's a little sweet. But that texture is awesome. With traditional beef jerkies, you got like really dry and, and hard. This one is super easy to bite into. It melts in your mouth. I would have expected a little bit more um, spicy flavor, but again, this is, you know, I guess they're going with a mild beef jerky, but when I say, when I hear our Szechuan chili, I really think it's going to be like boom in your face, you know, Szechuan peppercorns. Those, well, if you ever had a Szechuan peppercorn, it almost tastes like you have uh, stuck your tongue to a nine volt battery. That's like a real Szechuan peppercorn. They lessen the intensity for a mass market product, but again, it's, it's pretty good. All right, here we go. New York Buffalo Chicken Jerky. Let's try this one. Now this chicken jerky is more traditional where it's a little drier to the other beef jerky. It's drier, it doesn't have that, as much of that silky kind of mouth feel that the other one did. But this is a little spicier. The flavor on this one's really good. I love the buffalo flavor. That one really comes through. It's not like super blow your head off spicy, but it does have a you know a medium um, kind of spice to it. I'm really, I really like this one. But it's interesting because the, the textures are so different from the two chicken jerkies. I would have thought they would have been similar. Anyway, 
they're all really good and they're all better than what you can get in the gas station of, of course but like out of this i think my favorite i love the texture of the szechuan chicken jerky but i love the flavor of the new york chicken jerky the best that's my assessment of this max jerky that i received you know again this is this ooh, this one makes you want to come back for another one let's hit the next one Next, we have the one that I found on Instagram, you know, where all good things come from, your Instagram ads that pop up or Instagram posts that pop up. These are carnivore snacks. So what caught my eye is the fact that they make beef jerky out of ribeye. They make beef jerky out of fattier cuts as well as leaner cuts. And it says it only has two ingredients, beef and salt, and they dehydrate it. And usually beef jerky is made with lean cuts. Beef jerky was made to preserve meat, but then when you add fat to it, that's the first thing that goes bad. So this is a premium jerky meat snack product that has fattier cuts in there and dehydrates them. So I'm really, I'm very, very interested. I saw their Instagram ads and it just seemed like, right, they're doing what with what? Like, so let's give this one a try. Again, two ingredients. They call it a meat crisp, not a beef jerky. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. All right, I got the ribeye. They have ribeye, they have New York strip, they have chuck, they have all kinds of different varieties, but I got the ribeye because it was the most popular. As you can see, they have included all of the fat in there. So this is a just a dehydrated meat chip. So I'm super intrigued about what this is. It breaks apart very, I mean, it's crispy. It really is. like. It breaks apart like a chip. So interesting, the flavor. As you chew it, it kind of changes. It is straight beef. I'm more beef forward. Um, the salt is there, but as you chew it, the mixture of the fat and the lean comes together and it almost, it has such an interesting flavor. Oh my goodness. It almost tastes like a pastry. When you add all that stuff together, it's just beef and salt. Um, I don't know if this is, a, this is interesting. I mean, I'm going to go to another one. So crispy though. That's really good. They're right. This is not beef jerky. This is a completely different animal here. Wait, it's the same animal. It's a completely different product. I The only thing I could say that could be improved is I like a little more salt than this. I would like it to be like a salty, almost like potato chip salty, you know? If you're going to replace this carnivore snack for your like potato chips and stuff, I would like it a little more salty. But I didn't know what to expect with this one. But hey man, the more I try it, the more I like, I need another bite. Good job, carnivore snacks. This one, good deal. All right, next we're gonna talk about Yay's. Now, Yay's is a product that got went viral on TikTok. It's a recipe from his Cambodian grandmother. And man, I can't wait to hear it. Like, the thing that caught my eye was when I watched a video about this product and it was um, so crispy. It was, it was a person who was tasting it for the first time and the amount of crunch and crispiness that they got from this. So I'm really excited to try it. It also has, you know, just some different flavors. They have mild and spicy. When I went to the website, they had very slim pickings. It's the thing with these viral TikTok brands, these viral brands, it's hard to find them sometimes. So when you see them, grab them. Let's go and give them a shot. Woo. All right, first just pulling on the package. That is a crispy, let's do this. Okay, this is shatters. That is a crispy meat chip. Again, don't call it jerky, right? It's a chip, meat chip. It's a new category of meat chip. Wow. <laughs> that is super crunchy. And the flavor is awesome. Sweet, a little bit of spice. That, that flavor is so good. They do have a spicy one. I don't know. I'm kind of scared to probably blow my head off, but this is the mild, perfect spice right here. Perfect spice level, perfect seasoning level. This is really, really, really good. They got something here. And it's so crunchy. I don't know. Listen to one more time. Just a complete chip, crunchy chip. They got something here. This is really, really good. Um, Go and pick yourself up one of these. This is probably the best thing I've tasted today um, for the, all of the brands that we've done. They've all been good, but this one probably is the best. I'm, this, is, this is really good. How do they get that crispy? 
That's what I don't know how they got that crispy. I'm about to find out. I got to try some stuff. So, yays, really good. If you get a chance, pick one up. Awesome. If there are any other beef jerky brands that are new and innovative and you know about and I need to know about, put it in the comments. We'll try another group and we'll put it and make another video about it. Again, try all the three of these brands. They're really good. If you want to learn how to make your own beef jerky, go ahead and click this video right here. I'll see you on the next one.